Conte para mim sua história, seu bairro, sua cidade, onde você nasceu. Conta tudo para mim. So, um, I grew up in New York, uh, only child, grew up with a single mom, uh, no siblings, small one bedroom apartment, and always knew that I wanted to create businesses. So, uh, I got my start in the concert promotion. I used to book big arenas and, uh, and, and artists and sell tickets to concerts. Um, and from there, I got into the tech space. Um, I ran the marketing for a company called Yik Yak, which was a big social media app in the US. Uh, and then I discovered e-commerce back uh, about 10 years ago when uh, I discovered hoverboards. You ever see a hoverboard? You stand on it and you ride around. I have, that's my translation for Brazilian. Uh, so I started going out to China to the Canton Fair and uh, finding viral products to sell, importing them to the US, uh, selling to retail stores, selling on Amazon, on Shopify, on eBay. Um, and then I discovered drop shipping about seven years ago. And drop shipping totally changed my life because I never had any inventory problems. Um, I could sell as much as I want and I could scale as high as I wanted to and I never ran out of inventory. So I built my first drop shipping store It scaled from zero to $2 million dollars in 60 days and went on to do, you know, over $10 million dollars in sales my first year. Um, after that, I uh, built one of the biggest coaching programs in the US. I uh, was a big influencer and uh, mentor um, in the e-commerce space. And basically, we built Zendrop uh, to solve the problem of fulfillment for our students. Quantos milhões você faturou? no seu início com drop, com dropship, né? E com a sua mentoria, quantos milhões foi? So, my first dropshipping store scaled from zero to two million dollars in 60 days. Um, and the first year, we did about 10 million dollars in sales. Uh, we did that for a couple of years in a row. Uh, and then I started looking into digital marketing and I saw a lot of people selling courses, um, people who were not really qualified to sell courses, were selling courses on everything. Uh, and I thought, hey, I was one of the best dropshippers, so I'm qualified to teach other people how to sell. Um, and that quickly became also a $10 million a year business. Um, so it was, you know, we built about a half a million person email list. Um, I had about, you know, tens of thousands of students. Um, and yeah, basically went from dropshipping to the mentorship. Um, it was the natural next step. And, But I was becoming the e-commerce guru and I didn't really feel right in that position. So I wanted to be behind the scenes and that, that's why I built Zendrop. Mas quando você começou com o Dropship, você teve alguma ajuda? Alguém te ajudou? Como é que foi seu start ali no Dropship? Você fez tudo sozinho? Como é que foi o começo? Yeah, so actually um, I had never heard of dropshipping before. And I was at a trade show in Dallas where I had a booth and I was there for three days and I was talking to people um, and I was, you know, I was selling products at this trade show. And um, I got back to my hotel room and I had a flight the next morning at 7 a.m. And uh, I was about to go to sleep and I got an email on my phone that said, how to sell products without ever seeing or touching them. And I was like, how is that possible? So I was very intrigued and I was like, should I go to sleep or should I open the email? Should I go to sleep, should I open the email? I ended up opening the email Uh, and watching a webinar, watching a training on dropshipping, on basically finding products from AliExpress, putting them on your Shopify store and running ads. And I was very excited about this because, you know, I could sell anything I wanted to without buying inventory. So I actually was so excited that I went to the airport uh, the next morning at four o'clock in the morning and built my first dropshipping store. Um, and I put up my ads all within about two hours before my flight took off. Um, and by the time I landed, I already had about five sales in my store. Por que que com você deu certo o dropship e por que que tem muitas pessoas que não dão certo no dropship? Qual foi o seu diferencial? Okay, that's a great question. Um, and I've coached personally uh, in my group coaching program hundreds of people and I would always know if people are going to be successful or not based on one main thing. And it was, do people show up to the game excited Or do they show up to the game frustrated? If you're excited about dropshipping, if you wake up every morning and you're excited about testing new products and trying new things, eventually you're going to catch something that works. 
Um, but a lot of people get into business and they're skeptical. They're, you know, they know it works for someone else, but they don't think it could work for them. And they're like, I'll try it again. This is my last time trying. And then it doesn't work and they end up giving up. But the people who are excited, they're like, this is an, a huge opportunity. There's millions of products that we can sell to millions of people. I can't wait to wake up and start testing products. Those people are going to succeed because the only way you fail in dropshipping is if you give up. Because if you test enough products, you will find something that becomes profitable and that you can scale. And a lot of people also fail because um, they put too much energy into making everything perfect before they start running ads, right? What do I mean by that? I mean, um, there's people that want to start dropshipping and they spend a bunch of time and money um, trying to make their pages perfect, uh, trying to make their ad copy perfect, make custom videos, and they're putting all this effort into one product and then they launch it and the ad's not profitable. Um, what I always say is use your energy to test as many products as you could and don't perfect any of it. So you want to basically use whatever images or videos you have, make the landing page very simple and test 10 different products. You know, see which ones get the lowest cost per clicks, see which ones start getting some sales. And then once you identify a possible winning product, then you want to invest your energy into making it better. So don't leave me alone.